Welcome back. Now we're getting back into the usual goings on in the volleyball club, going back to the training hall where they're well, brought up and raised. No more special All Japan training, no more sneaking into places they weren't technically allowed. How far have they grown? How much are they going to continue relying on each other? Are they going to branch off and do their own thing? Is Yamaguchi actually going to be able to serve properly? Valuable questions, I, I'm assured. But it is, to, it is nice to see them back together and all of the hijinks that will come with it. So if you want to see more haiku, settle down and get yourselves a drink. And let's, dug, and let's get dug right into it. His words there in, at the previous episode, there was someone at the camp that was a hundred times better to, than you, but yeah. with enough time, you can reach even greater heights. Such kind words. They've been getting along fine. <laughs> You've got to love how uh, energetic they are, especially the little guardian god. Spill all the details. I think taking the words a little too literally. Who did you come up against? Who did you meet? He thought about it. Hmm. I mean, always going for the best. He's, uh, he's taking such an interest, I now can't get the image of, like, a protective mother of, out of my head for, the, for that character. He's well aware of his shortcomings. <laughs> Shut it, Yamaguchi. <laughs> it's almost like they were never away. When the status quo is them at each other's throats like this. But there's... Just the fact that none of it is malicious, it's all out of, uh, well, it's just how they are. But you've got a good rapport and a good friendship with someone, you can... be a bit more straight-laced with how you talk to them. <laughs> I think not only uh, the team having skilled players and those that are, you know, geniuses. I think it's the fact that even the lesser ones don't give up because of the personalities you've got on the, uh, on the team that are pushing each other forward all the time. Whether they want it or not, they're dragging each other up. Aim for the tape. Also, would you want to have a step ladder or something? Just a little more sturdy than just a chair.
Ah. See if they've actually got the accuracy there. It's all well and good getting it over, but... If your aim is off, even if you've got a good place to hit it into. <laughs> He's got a... You've got to do more than that if you want to get past the... The uh, best liver of the... Well, that's a good thing. The more we can get that practice in, get him... ...in touch with how to deal with those kind of serves. Let's get Yamaguchi down, see if he can get past him. Hmm. And the fact we've got these characters who haven't really had much uh, part in the court or character building. Hmm. been bouncing that for a while. Don't go for the face. <laughs> Sent him flying. <laughs> no comment about what just happened. Little thing that he picked up. To him, he might not even realise that he's doing it now. I think the fact that he doesn't see limits in of himself. Make sure you're eating well. Plenty of rest. <laughs> I thought he would understand that kind of explanation. I get the definitional difference there. <laughs> However, it won't be good enough in the upcoming matches, the things are against people who are actually... Pushing them. Huh. The balls of his feet. <laughs> Are we gonna improve that? What was it 133 centimeters? I just say 133. Whatever it was on the on the board when they were trying to jump as high as possible. They were going to get a vast increase in that height after the uh still practicing. We're gonna get a vast improvement after the little help that he's getting. The fact that they are all kind of getting into it now. He has experienced some things over in that training camp that has been on his mind. But c 
complete Got there you go. We got complete uh faith in his skills. Almost in awe a But his uh, ability as a setter. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Just who is about to get it. If I'm done, hours of work. He's seriously thinking and contemplating next moves. He's opened his vision a bit, being able to perceive so much. Really? Being how observant he is now, and with of his kind of noticing bits off with Kagiyama. Really get into it, explain everything, small details, even if it might seem insignificant to him. Ah. <laughs> You got some names and attitudes out there. Playing things without a full risk. If it works, it works. But with that, is he going to try and uh, do something off kilter for his usual? Usual attempts. When is he not? Something a uh, uh, boy that he actually wants to try out and do for himself. That's interesting. And they're going to uh, go all out on this one. It'll pay back for breaking through their wall before. <laughs> e? <laughs> We're here for... Act as though we know each other. <laughs> yeah, we're here for a friendly match. How many uh, names and phone numbers are they going to exchange at the end of this? The fact, does he feel a chill up his back or is he completely oblivious? But the fact that he has uh, managed to draw some ire just thanks to some passing words. They were good before, they're even better now. Overcome that uh, that level. Oh, 
We've got some uh, graphic design going on. Having intro cards. <laughs> what is all this? I like it, but... How are they all going to... Uh... Also, are they going to be focusing on him as a decoy or using him to his fullest advantage? Hmm. I see that's what was meant... Even with the slight uh, distraction caused by him being so speedy. Yeah, they were told they got better. If they can cause a moment for them to falter slightly. Get into the head, even in just a little practice match. Try to get the... Uh, the ball rolling straight away. Is he now going to start faltering amongst himself? How are they going to use that uh, knowledge of actually how they actually how they uh, react? Which of the spikes and and want to their advantage? How are they going to learn to overcome it? Hmm. And try and get for uh, gaps. It's a safe option to at least get a pair of hands on the ball, but... Oh, the, the, the strongest defence there. As long as they've got that, uh, we're playing Tetris. Even if it was barely. His expression. <laughs> I re they really are just trying to uh, feel each other out, aren't they? Show them what they've what they're made of, what they've managed to achieve. But aren't too enthusiastic. Ah oh, no. The pressure from behind him, knowing that there's that wall. I 
I mean, being able to move like that and get behind it. And read blocking. Oh, where's it going? Over there. Cool. If everything is down to the split second and reflexes. It might have been. That momentary doubt. Yeah. Part of this is mind games, trying to feel out your opponent, trying to get in their head and what they can and can't do. Seems like even in this, in a very short time, they've managed that. Then again, Kogiyama has had some things on his mind beforehand. Seeing the skills and what is out there with this All Japan uh, training camp and the people there. There's quite a few who could have easily made it in. And I bet the feeling of overcoming them is even greater. What was that little slap? Still not good enough. Is he now uh, thinking of what he can do to and make an impact. Not getting bogged down and being blocked, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> Go on, lad. <laughs> I mean, the fact he has the energy and time for the for the move name. It was cool, but get up and move. Well, that's good. I mean, if he didn't put himself there, the ball wouldn't have been got, would it? Hopefully the... the feeling of being able to play with all of the... the... Uh, most skilled and top players at this camp isn't setting him off down a, a path that we've seen before, with the great king re-emerging. Then again, he's had so much growth that uh, maybe it's just misunderstanding. But I do want more uh, Nishinoya, so... There's a little back and forth there, I'm not going to complain. With our team that has uh, got so much pressure on their shoulders now, considering the future of the the games they're up against, anything and everything could go wrong up until that point. Haikyuu, well, what can I really say about it? The fact that we've got so many characters with, that are so distinct... With their own failings and flaws and being able to overcome them marginally. But also folding back into their old ways, potentially. 
and then others that are just so solid that they would dive across the entire court. Sure, we've seen Nishinoi actually miss a few, but the Guardian God that we we really do need. And it's been a short while since we've had the last kind of bust up. Since the season one, it was kind of established that he's a a bit of a character, refusing to play unless us he was there as well, refusing to uh, be part of it. Turned up for a second. Oh, is he back yet? No. Nope. All right, I'm off. Having that same kind of hardness now uh, flare up because he was told he was in the way. What happened next? With words being said at that that training camp, but echoing in his mind, what does it mean to be a goody two shoes? His effectiveness as a setter, the trajectory for himself, and I guess tangentially the entire team, where they're going to end up and how they're going to grow and get better. And considering we've got Tsukushima really kind of trying to boost himself up with his blocks and learning and being better there, coming up against Date Tech, you know, the Iron Wall itself, what better to learn from than those that have kind of built their image on that. And I know some people had to uh, I don't know if it's an issue, but at least commenting on the style change in the art direction differences between the previous seasons. But considering some of the faces we've seen, I like it. <laughs> Seeing some of the bullshit we're actually getting. And I do really want to see more, not just as the interactions between some of the characters and their moments, but the depths of despair to the actual elation of joy. Anywhere in between as well. Honestly, what's capable for these for these guys? Also, I do want to see more of the managers and what they get up to, since really those two have kind of been sidelined for a while. We had quite a lot of the uh, the other girl when she was joining up and trying to get on board and her her, her journey of finding something that she's interested in and wants to put her time and effort into. In fact, we've got that for a lot of the characters now, even the, the, the benched ones we don't actually see on the court all too often, managing to get a, a serve in and over Nishinoya. And I guess it really is the, the small things that may do it for me. So if you have enjoyed Haiku and you want to see more, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. Maybe join onto my Discord, who knows? But make sure to take care of yourselves, eat a lot, rest up well. I'll see you in the next one. I am so glad to have you all here, pushing me on to be my very best. And luckily, because I'm not actually very good at anything at all, there's no high horse or ego that I can even cling to. So, I do need to thank Noku, Raywin, Sal, Afia, Kite, Mystic Square, Shiwan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Akani, Guado, Diego, Zenhaus, and Tori Jane, the kebab seller, and everyone else for sticking around for as long as they have. Especially considering if we were playing volleyball, this has been a very long, slow, and pointless game.